Hello, YouTubers. Hello, world. So this particular video, it does concern the convicted stalker, Alex Belfield. Why? Because I have told you a myriad of times that not only is he a convicted stalker, he's a thief. It's like a magpie, as someone said in the comments the other day. He just nicks stuff with a plum, doesn't care, and then passes it off as his own. In some circles, that could be called plagiarism. In other circles, business especially, it's called passing off. And I said to you when I first started the, doing these videos on this channel, that I spent a lot of time and a lot of effort honing my craft. My craft is that of a late night talk show host or a lunchtime talk show host, if you wish, certainly on Century 106 and Century in the, in the Northeast. I've done radio all over the country. LBC in London, BBC across the North East, Newcastle, Cleveland as it was called, Tees now, Leeds, York, Carlisle. I've done phone-ins in South Wales that have been number one in their market, South Wales, North East of England and the lunchtime phone-in. I had the BBC, when I was doing the lunchtime phone-in on Century 106, I had the BBC have meetings on how to deal with me because my audience kept growing and kept killing their audience whilst I was on air. They had meetings after meetings trying to decide how they were going to deal with me. Now, this is not me showing off me sphericals, some Johnny Big bollocks. No, not at all. Because there's a lot of people that have attacked me. But what I'm saying is both provable and factual. Rage are other people that decide radio station audience. And I can prove to you that my late night phone ins in the northeast of England on Century Radio had more listeners than all of the other radio stations combined. My late night phone in in South Wales had more listeners than any other radio station or stations combined. My lunchtime phone in on Century 106, where I met Alex Belfield, went from 22 in the marketplace to number two behind Radio 2. I'll leave that with you. And part of me honing my radio craft, because there's a lot of skill to doing live speech radio, was coming up with phrases that the convicted stalker, the thief, stole and passed off as his own. What I'm about to play you was broadcast on Real Radio, South Wales, Swansea, Cardiff, and the, the southern belt of Wales with a legendary caller called Roger Augustus. Scum sucking pond life was used 20 years before Alex Belfield got anywhere near to doing YouTube videos where he passed my catchphrase off as his own. And if you want the proof, here you go. Oh, by the way, don't forget to ding the bell. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, but most of all, your indulgence. Have a listen to this. I want you to be able to repeat factually things that I say. So I just want you to repeat after me, Roger. Scum. Scum. Sucking. Sucking. Pond. Pond. Life. Life. And if you put them all together, what do you get? Oh, pond, uh, pond sucking, uh, scum, pond scut, pond sucking, scut, sc I don't know, really, it's just irrelevant, really. <laughs> it, it's irrelevant, because it's sort of like... A... <laughs> it's irrelevant. <laughs> I'm sure it's just irrelevant to the to the point. It's just irrelevant, no, in an <laughs> Well, you're never going <laughs> to... You will not have a Megan's Law, really. You, you won't have... <laughs> yeah, but you sort of still won't have... <laughs> you still won't have this law. <laughs> You will not. <laughs> uh, Roger, we're gonna, Roger, we're going to have to stop, man. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, okay. <laughs>